Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a Lorraine 15550. It's the tier 7 French SPG. It's located on the south spawn of Muravanka and it's under the command of 4Q2. Yes, it's one of my replays. I've been taking the advice of the members and taking a couple of hours to play the game every now and then. And this one I'm playing in the French RT that's made from the Lorraine 40 ton tank. As you can see, it's quite a fast little vehicle. 155mm gun, which is capable of 700 alpha penetrating 40mm of armour. And it's got a burst radius of 8 meters, so it's in some ways the performance is very similar to the M12. Just setting myself up in a nice little nest here in the depression in the ground. Ready to go to work. Okay, first target's an LTG, dialing in. He's moving very quickly. I do a snapshot and it tracks him and he's attracting fire and he goes down. So I've picked up 450 stun assist and 73 from the original hit. Okay, we've got some targets turning up in the north. I'm just reloading. 24.60 seconds is the reload time. Okay, I'm following that Air Mix 50 because he's going to be more exposed than the other one. I only stun him though because I thought he was going to pull back some more, but he just stopped. Turn sideways, and so I didn't get a hit. Sometimes you estimate a tank's going to pull back, and it doesn't pull back. It stops temporarily. But I can now see him. And he has received a hit. There's a Super Hellcat. Oh, and there's an Oni. Now, they're very predictable. Rounds out. Splashes alongside him for 185. But I'm now going to go to town on him. Try and take him out of the game as quickly as I can. I can see that other shells are going in. The Centurion shows up. There's the Oni again. Okay. Almost loaded. Loaded. Just work out where he's going to be. Rounds out. Direct hit again. 154. He's stunned. And that Centurion's just taken a pasting from our tank destroyers. Or was it the um, VK that got him? Well, we just noticed the Lerva, which actually fired into the VK. I think he's being a bit of a nuisance to the VK, and we've lost the VK, so that lover has got to go. Rounds out in that spot, and yep, he hit, he got hit. So I've got a blind shot there on the lover, but still got some tanks to deal with, and the Centurion is still there, so is that Oni, as far as I'm aware, and we're only one tank up on the enemy. Okay, enemy anti has been spotted in the north. GW Panther pulling back into position. I'm not fully dialed in yet. I'm trying to. My EBRs are going after that guy. He's probably going to get hit. I fire around in and... Oh, Shell Viz off to the left. And I only get the stun assist and a bit of damage. And he's taken out by the EBRs instead. I don't know why the Shell veered violently to the left. Well away from the target. I thought I had him there, but nope. Okay, well, Centurion's still there. Try and get him again. Oh, and the Oni as well. I fire around in, take out the Centurion. So he's gone. Unfortunately, the Oni's still there, and the T-54 feels that. He just got derped. And there goes the Oni. Okay, so the IS-3 is next, and I'm indicating him to my teammates, and when well, he's being surrounded, and he's gone. And there's that Lurther. I got a blind hit on him. He's down to 45% of his health now. That's the next target. He's got fairly weak armor. Rounds out. Direct hit for 317. He's down to 26% now. They lost the T25 too. And oh my god, there's a lot of tank destroyers in that nest over there. And our EBR bites the dust in amongst them. But it looks like that is going to be TD City. And just any shot fired into that area should hit something that's uh, got a gun on it. Oh, my shell hit the SU-130 just after he'd been killed. The Lover's going to go down any second. No doubt about that. Our guys are homing in on him. There you go. So it looks like the Super Hellcat's my next target. And he goes down. So there's only three tanks left, but two of them are in the Magic Forest. The Centurion 5-1 and a Scorpion G. A, another Scorpion, I think that's the Tier 7 version was seen up here and I fire around him where I lost 
saw him or was where he was last reported and fire and no joy but i realized that centurion 51 and the scorpion g are a threat because they could come south and so the best place for me to be right now is right up in the north shooting back at them now a lot of people will find the french rt a bit of a trouble because they've got such a shallow um shell um, profile which means obviously you can't really hit them in a city zone or can't really hit targets that um, are hidden behind objects because the shell will always hit whatever the obstruction is or at least it seems to but they are very fast and from the tier 7 one upwards you are getting RT that can relocate very quickly okay I'm just about to go through that series of wrecks on the west side of the map all the TDs that were taken out here and the EBR yeah, they're all here. All the wrecks. And I'm going to get myself into a nice little spot where I can fire back at the enemy. And I thought to myself, well, where would I go? And I thought, oh, RT would go into the into the bushes, into the tree where the uh, enemy RT would normally be. And we know where the Centurion was last seen. He was last seen on the coast. I'm waiting for them to actually spot. There you go. There he is. Dialed in. Round out. Direct hit 224. We're capping. And the Centurion is really being slammed. Lots of shells going in his direction. He's cured his stun, but... And he was weaving about for a moment, but I'm getting ready for another round, and I'll put that one into him as soon as I can. Oh, and he goes down by the Super Hellcat. So, okay, there's one out. Just got to find that Scorpion next. So I'm just going to get a bit closer, because the closer you are to the enemy, the quicker your reaction time. And there's the Scorpion. He's been seen. He's just on the edge of the lake. Our guys pulled back because they didn't want a big 128mm round coming in their direction. So I'm going to send him a 155mm calling card. And that ends the game. <laughs> and unfortunately, it was before they, they succeeded in capping out. But, well, that was satisfying. Only two kills, but it was a good game. Let's have a look at the end of battle results. And it's an ace tanker for 4Q2 in the Lorraine 155 milli 50. In fact, that was the first ace tanker that I've had in that vehicle. And it was recently. And I was... Um, uh, playing the uh, Lorraine 15550 a lot to get up to the Lorraine 15551 so I could use it on frontline. But um, um, I've got the Lorraine 15551 now, but I do like this RT. It is quite fun. I also managed to get a bruise the medal for get at least five critical hits. I managed to get nine in that one, and my win eight was 3,358. Didn't get any other medals, but it was an ace tanker, and it was a first ace tanker, so I've included it in the uh, in the videos. And, of course, it was uh, also to show that if you relocate at the end of a battle, you sometimes can get some more damage and maybe a couple of kills by hitting the enemy from a direction they just do not expect you to uh, um, uh, fire from. And that will become apparent in the very next video because, yes, I've got another one for you coming up. Uh, if you look at the damage, you can see I didn't get the highest damage in the game. That actually went to the T-54. He managed to get 2,607 hit points. The EBR managed 2107 and I managed 2056. When it came to kills, it was shared between the T-54, the Super Hellcat, the AMX 1375 and the enemy Scorpion. They all had three kills apiece. I only had two kills and, well, the rest either had one or nothing. And when it came to base XP, yes, I was right at the top because I was tier 7 and I was firing on tier 8 tanks. So I was earning extra XP for all of the ones I hit. And that was 1,144 base, 948 for the AMX 1375, 890 for the T-54. I fired 12 rounds, got 6 direct hits and 1 penetration. 11 splash, damage of 7, 000, uh, 2,056. It would be nice if, if it was 7. It's not 2,056, all of it at more than 300 meters. I damaged 7 of the enemy, killed 2, and did 512 hit points of damage assistance and 2,063 hit points of stun assist of 10 stuns. 
on a premium account, I earned 57,269 credits from that game, got 28,634 from personal reserves, so my grand total came to 85,903. And after ammunition, resupply and consumables, I ended up with a profit of 53,903 uh, credits. Not bad for a tier 7 RT. 25 bonds from the Venevidi Vici. 1,716 XP, same again from personal reserve, took away 3,432 experience points altogether. So yes, the Lorraine, I do like it as an RT, it is fast. The Lorraine 15551 is even better. And I think a lot of people would say, yes, that is the case. It's always that one. And in fact, that's the best RT for Frontline. But some of the members have said they tried every RT at Frontline and they've all achieved generals uh, or general rank in each of the tier eight RT. So don't take my word for it. Do, do, do a bit of experimentation and find out which one you like for yourself. As I said, I've got another video coming up and you won't believe what happened in that one. Yes, it's quite an interesting uh, game right to the very end. And so uh, without further ado, I'll say um, if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like. Do subscribe to our channel if you can, please. And thank you for watching.